Every summer, my grandma would take my cousins and I to a water park called Pine Lake. It was a water park on a lake, hence the name. And they had all kinds of fun things, slides, a zip line, paddle boats. But our favorite thing was the diving area, which had a 10-foot diving board, a 20-foot platform, and a 30-foot platform that you could jump off into the water. When we would get there, we would run up the stairs to the top and look over the edge at the little tiny people down below looking like ants. And then we'd start this game called You Go, where I say you go, and then they say, no, you go. You go, then I'll go. No, you go. And we kept putting it off. And there'd always be like some little kid would come up and jump off and make us look silly. We have to pretend like we're waiting for somebody. Finally, one of us would jump and yell something like, Geronimo, as we splashed into the water. And then we'd all see that he survived and know that we have to jump too. But it was so much fun, we couldn't wait to get back up to the top. And we'd run back up, which we weren't supposed to do. That's one of the rules, no running. But we'd get back up, jump off again, and just keep doing this, having so much fun. And regretting that we hadn't done it sooner, that we'd put it off and wasted all this time building up the anticipation for it. And sure enough, a year would go by, and we'd forget the feeling of jumping off the platform. The nerves would kick in, and we'd be scared to jump again. It seems like the longer we waited without jumping off this platform, the longer we'd stand around and not jump. And we never regretted jumping off. We just regretted not jumping sooner. For me, the sacrament of confession is the same way. The longer I go without going to confession, the more anticipation I build up, the more nervous I get, the more I want to delay it. I make all kinds of excuses. I need more time to think about my sins, or the line's too long, or I know the priest too well, or those people probably need it more than me, so I should let them go first. <laughs> That's probably another reason I need to go to confession. Or I just ate and I need to wait 45 minutes before going to confession. I, I think that's how it works, right? After I finally go to confession, though, I'm so happy and excited. And I make this promise to myself to go more frequently because I love the feeling I get after confession. I've never regretted going to confession. My only regret is not going sooner. So if you're like me and you need a reminder occasionally, hey, go to confession. You'll be glad you did. Don't keep pushing it off. Take that leap of faith and go. Because if you're like me, you'll only wish you'd gone sooner. And I think it'd be funny if on your way to confession, you yell, Geronimo! I'm Kyle Hyman. For more, check out kylehyman.com.